Okay, we have a hydraulic systems diagram for an EC225 LP Super Puma. On the top left, uh, the reference manual, uh, the operator's manual on uh, chapter 7.1, page 7, talks about the different uh, quantities. So on the top left here, we have 210 bars, which are the maximum uh, hydraulic pressure. 175 is the nominal, and 110 bar is the minimum pressure. The left-hand hydraulic reservoir has a max capacity of 12 liters, a normal capacity of 9.5 liters, and pretty much the only time you'll see 12 liters full is when the landing gear is up and it's on jack stands for maintenance purposes. The left reservoir has two side gauges, the lower side gauge is for the 9.5 normal, and the upper side gauge is for maintenance purposes. There's various functions inside the left hydraulic system. We have a 6 liter standpipe, which goes through this system for the Mercy Landinger extension. Uh, there's 3 liters of fluid in that system, and it takes approximately 2 minutes to fully extend the Mercy Landinger. When we activate the Mercy Landinger extension lever, which is right by the right side collective, it activates an electronic pump to extend the landing gear. Once we get the three green lights to let us know that the landing gear has been extended, we then need to push that lever back down, which the landing gear will stay extended. Make sure you have the switch in the extended position, not the retracted position. For the normal operations also but uh, you once it gets extended you need to put that lever back down otherwise the pump will continue to run what it doesn't show in, in the reservoir here is uh, as we see down below there's a four liter sensor for the solenoid and if the left hydraulic system gets below the four liter mark the solenoid here will shut down everything south of this point, which is everything in the left system. Now the left system, not to be confused, the manual also calls it the main hydraulics. So left hand and main are synonymous with one another. The left system controls the upper cylinders with pitch out roll, or the left, the three left cylinders. And as you can see, the right system controls the right upper, or the lower cylinders of the main rotor servos. As we can continue down past the solenoid, the left hydraulic main system also controls the left-hand cylinder for the tail rotor servos. As we continue down, I'll just go further to the left. We have the landing gear extraction and extension. Uh, normal operations, we can extract, uh, retract and extend. And we already talked about the emergency <coughs> that can only extend. Uh, next over we have the wheel brakes. Now right of the wheel brakes we have a restrictor and what this restrictor does is it doesn't allow too much fluid to come over to these systems as to distract from what's most important which is the servos, either the main servos or the tail rotor servos. Um, when we're on the ground and we shut down we also have a accumulator here which has one liter of hydraulic fluid and it maintains 60 bars of pressure in there. Between the uh, seats, more towards the left seat, there's a gauge that tells you how much pressure is in that system. And if needs be, we can turn on the hydraulic uh, pump to pump that pressure back up. Um, continuing over, we have the rotor brake, the autopilot, and then the Hydraulic alternator is also powered off the left hand and or main hydraulics. Um, we have the main pump uh, that's, uh, anyway, uh, the main pump which is on the back side of the main gearbox, one of the accessories off the main gearbox. It picks up at the two liter level. And this is gear driven, or mechanically gear driven. The Ox pump is, uh, is electrically driven 
and it maintains between 110 and 140 bar. So um, you get a low light if the pressure is below 110 bar, not at 110 bar, but below 110 bar. Then we'll continue over here to the right hand hydraulic system. Uh, the max capacity of the system is 7.5 liters if it were to be full. Uh, the normal capacity as we see here is, is 5 liters. Just like the left sim system, the right system is driven by a mechanical pump off the back of the main gearbox. The check valve just like on the other pumps. Um, within the reservoir we have a 2 liter sensor that in, in the event that the right hydraulic reservoir drops to 2 liters or below, it activates a solenoid which shuts off the flow of hydraulic pressure to the right hand uh, servo on the tail rotor. And again, to save that pressure to the main rotor servos, uh, the lower cylinders of the main rotor servos. That's the uh, hydraulic system in a nutshell, and I hope this was helpful.